Okay, hello everyone. This is Charmin and Paddington's F3 Mini Golden Doodle Puppies. We are three weeks old. Yeah, happy third week birthday. And kind of like Bree's puppies. We're still young, we're still not doing too much. By next week, we should do a lot more activity. See some personalities come out. We're big time dog piling it here. Yes, big litter. They can form more than one dog pile. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have. This is an F3 generation, which means we mixed Charmin, who is a Duke and Daphne F2B mini, with our Paddington, who is an F1B mini from our Mrs. Beasley, Mr. Bean litter. So if you ever wanna look back at other puppies, you can see who we're talking about. Um, this is a first time breeding for Charmin. And we have past puppy pictures for our Sammy and Paddington babies. Sammy is also a Duke and Daphne F2B mini. And Sammy and uh, Charmin, if you're not careful, you'll think they're identical. Charmin is a little smaller than Sammy. So puppies in this litter might, uh, you have a variety of uh, smaller puppies as well. Not, not like toys, but closer to the petite size. Um, but if you want to see what they look like all grown up, you can go look at our Sammy Paddington F3s. And uh, these are identical to what you're getting right here. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have one, one with fleece in it that has got some curly. And that is our bright blue collar girl, our peanut butter color. She just looks like we opened a fresh jar of peanut butter. Yeah, now I'm hungry. Excuse the noise in the background. We're washing rugs in the washing machine and it gets off balance every once in a while. Um, that is the only one with fleece. So someone who has asthma or severe allergies, this is a really good choice for you. We decided to create the F3 generation, which is something we created right here at Lambo Farms. And we decided to do it because we are in love with our F2B puppies. Um, we were the third ones to start that, and we loved that outcome. They were just beautiful. Now, as you guys might read on my website, not all generations are created equally. Just because you get an F3 at one place doesn't mean it's going to be the same at the other. There's a lot of criteria that goes in the parents, not just the generations, but different, um, different things that we look for when we mix them. So just keep that in mind. But we found that in our F2Bs that... People were really going for the wavy coats versus the curly. They really liked that wavy. And we would get about half and half. We'd have half curly, half wavy. So half that looked like this, and the other half that looked like this. And that was their favorite. They loved that, that look. And they all kind of have a similar look. So what we did is we created the F3 to get more of that wavy coat and have that as an option everywhere versus the curly coat. But we still have a non-shedding dog. Um, now with any wavy coat, actually all of our coats, I shouldn't just say wavy, wavy and curly alike with our dogs, you're going to go through three coat changes um, that takes them from this puppy fluff, which is a, a fur, to a hair. And that's around nine weeks, four months, and 11 months. Um, you're gonna notice you're gonna be in a honeymoon phase when you groom. You're not gonna have a lot of matting. And around 11 months, if you don't brush, you're gonna have some matting. That's because you have that real hair in there. And uh, you might get a, a few wisps every once in a while, as with any of the doodles that have more of a wavy coat, but they are non-shedding. They're not going to be uh, a shedding dog. So people who have um, allergies do just fine. Um, with anybody, especially the, the, we talked about this is good for asthma, the, the curly coat, but with any of the doodles, you need to brush them when they come in from outside because those allergens stick into their coat, especially this fleece coat. And so you wanna brush those out. A lot of times people with allergies, they'll bury their head in their dog and they'll start sneezing and they'll say, oh my goodness, I'm allergic to the dog. You know, you're allergic to the stuff that came in the house with the dog after they were playing outside. So a good brushing, keep them clean and you're gonna be just fine with allergies. Um, my husband and three children have asthma, severe allergies. My husband cannot be around dogs yet. He does just fine with everybody but our, our, uh, our retrievers and our first generations. Those do have shedding. So let's take a look at everybody here on an individual basis. We were talking about our 
our bright blue collar girl who's a peanut butter color and a fleece cotton mix. She's gonna be curly, the only one. So she's special that way. Like they're all, they're like, and she's comfortable. And then we have two reds. The white collar is a little, just a tad lighter than the light pink collar girls. And then over here, we have all of our, what I call apricot and cream. The little orange baby is an apricot. Little, uh, everybody else is, is gonna be, I guess pink is, is kind of bordering on the apricot. You can see there's more tipping on her, but everybody else is what we call a cream. So with the apricot, there's like an undercoat that's a little lighter and then there's apricot on top. Everybody has dark ears. We'll know in the next few weeks if those ears are gonna stay dark. Usually when they're dark like this, at a young age, they can change. Now, as they get older and they're still dark, that's gonna stay, that dark pigmentation does stay. As far as the reds, red does fade, um, but you will notice throughout the life of your dog, as you groom them, cut it down, grow it back, that dark red does come back. Look at you guys. It, you know, I might have it just a little cold, sorry. It's been humid. We, we turned down the air conditioner. It might be a little cold in here right now. Yeah. So the wavy coat is a cotton wavy. We don't have any straight coats in the litter. They're all a nice thick wavy. As far as size goes, I would say little lavender girl and light pink girl are gonna be our smallest. Yeah. All right, so we talked about bright blue and here's our orange boy. And here's our black collar boy. Say hi. And our red collar boy. Now we'll move to the girls. We have our dark pink girl. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> our light pink collar girl. Our lavender girl, our little bunny. And then turning, turning her back to us is white collar girl. Hey, little teddy bear. Oh, you think I have food? I don't have any food, I'm sorry. Oh, look at you guys. They are so sweet. All righty. We will have more activity next week at four weeks and we'll send out our update and directions to the farm. Uh, I'm sorry, puppy picking instructions in our update and uh, directions to our farm so you guys can prepare yourself for picking. And uh, after our week four video, then we'll have our temperament testing and we'll email that out to everybody. So you guys have something to look at along with video and pictures to help you choose. All right, guys, can we say bye-bye? Can everybody turn around? Can everybody turn around? They're like, listen, lady, we're tired. You've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Say bye-bye.